Hello Grade Ones, how are you doing? Welcome to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. My name is Teacher Di and if you have any questions just email the address on your screen now grade one at worksheetcloud.com and we'll do our best to get back to you. Okay, let's get started. Today we are doing a maths lesson and we're going to be doing some bonds. Now I'm not going to tell you the number yet, we're going to guess that in just a minute. Before we get to that, let's warm up and do our counting. Let's go. Counting in twos. Are you ready? Two. Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty. Can we keep going? Have you noticed the pattern? Okay, let's keep going. We've ended on 30, 30 plus 2, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Great. Now let's count in fives. Starting at five. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, yes, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done. You see when we count in fives, we're going all the way down the fives and then all the way down the tens. Okay, let's count in tens. So we're starting at 10, going all the way down. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Well done. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's an easy one to remember. Counting in tens. Okay, let's get to our special number. Enough warming up. I'm going to give you a clue which, what it is today. Okay, here's your clue. Are you ready? Ta-da! What do you think? What number are we doing? It's an octopus. And what do you know about an octopus? What's special? How many legs does it have? Yes, it has eight legs and that's the special number today. This is the word eight. Can you see it? Eight. Look at it and say eight. Don't worry about sounding it out. It's not one of those kind of words we can sound out. It's got some tricky fancy sounds in it. That's okay. We just say the word eight. We say it like this. A fatty and a thinny and a g-h-t. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Eight. Good, and this is the number symbol. That's the number eight. Here's the word eight. And we've got our key here, our octopus, which is going to help us remember all about eight. Okay, today we're doing bonds of eight, which just means if I've got eight of something, how many different ways can I break it up and make a sum out of it? The answer is 8. Isn't that a nice sum? We're always trying to find the answer, but now we know the answer before we even start. The answer is 8. We get to make up the sum. So let's look at these 8 dots. Let's just count them to check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8 dots, just like the 8 legs of an octopus. And we're going to be working with them to make up some sums and the answer must be yes eight okay i think what well, you tell me what do you think how shall we break up eight what's one way you can see i think the easiest thing to do or the thing that pops to my mind first is to just chop it in half and we feel like we already know that four and four makes eight because we know that half of eight is four and we can see here if we chop it in half, we've got four and four. So that's a nice quick sum to make. Shall we write that out? Four plus four equals eight. There we go. So we've got our answer eight, which we knew all along, and we're making different sums. So we're breaking this up in different ways to try and get the answer eight. Let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Let's break it up. Oh, look at that. Just one on that side. So if there's one over here, how many are left? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So now we can see that seven plus one equals eight because there's still eight dots. Say we didn't change the fact that there were eight dots. We just moved one. That's all. We just moved it to that side. So let's make our sum. Seven plus one equals eight. There we go. Brilliant. We can break up eight into a four and a four, or we can break it up into a seven and a one. And that's just called bonds of eight, the way we break up the number. Let's do another one. Okay, how about this? Let's move to that side. And now can you tell me the sum? Have a look here. How many dots are over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And over here? Two, six and two. Can you make up the sum for me? Six plus two equals? Yes, eight. Very good. Six plus two is equal to eight, just like four plus four and seven plus one equals eight. They all equal eight. How about this? We move three across. We've still got eight in total, but we've broken it up a different way. Can you tell me the sum? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three is equal to eight. Very good. We've already done this one. What's the sum? Four plus four equals eight. Very good. How about this one? Whoa. We've got three on the side and how many on the other side? Yes, five. Let's make up that sum. Three plus five equals eight. So if I say to you, I've got three, how many more do I need to get to eight? The answer is five. If I say to you, I've got five, how many more do I need to add to get to eight? The answer is three. Okay, let's do another one. Whoop, we moved six across. So let's have a look. What will our sum be? How many over here? Two plus this group, which is six equals eight. Yes, so there's a bond of eight. Is a two and a six equals eight. What if I said to you, let's change it around. Six take, or eight rather, take away six. How many would that be? Two. Yes, we can work it backwards as well. Okay, this one. Whew, how many have we got on that side? Just one. One plus what will give us eight? One adding in these will give us eight. And how many is this over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One plus seven equals eight. Great. So the bonds of eight, we know a one and a seven equals eight. Do you remember in the beginning we said a seven plus one equals eight? Look at that. One plus seven or seven plus one. It's the same thing. When you're using a plus sign, it doesn't matter which side you put them on. Hey, it doesn't matter if I put the dot here or there or over here for that matter. As long as all together we've got eight. Okay, here's a sneaky one for you. I want you to think about this. Have a look. Now tell me my sum. How many have I got left on this side? <gasps> nothing. How do we write nothing? Naught. Oh dear, how are we going to make eight now? Naught plus what will give me eight? I've got nothing and I need to get to eight. Well, naught plus eight, all of them. Naught plus eight equals eight. I've got naught or zero, got nothing. I need eight more to get to eight. There we go. Naught plus eight is eight. Right, let's fill these in. The answer is eight. I've got one on this side. How many more will I need to get to eight? Yes, seven. Got one. I need seven more. Now I've got two. Remember those eight dots? Pretend two went across. How many have I got left? Hold up your hands with eight fingers. Put down two. One, two went across. How many left? Six, yes. Let's do it again. I've got eight. Oops, there, that was nine. <laughs> We've got eight. Three went across. How many have I got left? Five. I've got eight and 
four went across. How many have I got left? Four. Brilliant. So now I've got eight. So show, hold up eight fingers. Put down five because I've five went across. How many left? Three. Okay, I've got eight. Six went across. How many are left? Two. I've got eight. Seven went across. Sure, that's almost all of them. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've just got one left. Okay, I've got eight plus how many more to get to eight? Well, I've got them all. So there we go. Naught. Well done. And that's what we call bonds of eight or empty box sums. So you might see these. You've got one plus what gets me to eight. Then you just remember, okay, I've got eight in total. Let me see if I've taken one away. How many will I still need? Okay. Let's do a story sum to finish it off. Keep calm, draw a picture. That's what we've got to remember with story sums. Keep calm, draw a picture. Let's read together. There are eight cupcakes. Mm. I only have six cherries. Oh, I want to decorate my cupcakes with a cherry on top. But I've got eight cupcakes and only six cherries. How many more cherries must I buy? Okay, let's keep calm and draw a picture. Eight cupcakes we read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I've got six cherries. That's nice. One, two, don't they look nice? Three, four, five, six cherries. That's all. How many more cherries must I buy from the shops? Do you see it? Let's make a sum. Six plus how much will get me to eight? Do you see it's bonds of eight? Six plus how much will get me to eight? Yes, two. I need two more cherries. Very good. Do you see how knowing your basic maths facts, putting all those facts in a toolbox, really helps us later on when we get to story sums and all sorts of other hard things. Okay, well done. You've done such a good job today. Very proud of you. Why don't you go and download the activity that I've prepared for you and practice your bonds of eight some more. Okay, have a lovely day and thank you for joining me at this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.